Hello guys, we finally have the release of Laravel 9 officially released and I decided to try it out to upgrade one of my projects from Laravel 8 to Laravel 9 and in this video you will see exactly that in almost live mode so I haven't tried Laravel 9 yet and in this video I will. So I will follow the upgrade guide and see if it works, what doesn't work, what will I find and is the update easy. The project we will work with is familiar to some of you, it's laravelexamples.com, locally it's .test for me and I will try to make it work with Laravel 9. Basically what we'll do is go through Composer JSON, try to upgrade the dependencies, see if there are any errors and debug if there are any. Let's go. So let's open the upgrade guide and try to follow it to update my Laravel examples project. First thing you need to know that PHP 8.0.2 is required. So you open your composer JSON and here you need to have at least 8.0 here. If you are on lower version like 7.4 or even lower, which is actually not supported anymore officially, then you would not be able to install Laravel 9 or upgrade existing projects to Laravel 9. So PHP 8.0 is a requirement. Then you need to change two things to packages their versions. So Laravel framework, in our case it was 8.40, that was the time when that project was created, we changed that to 9.0 and also Nuno Maduro Collision, it's in the required dev, it should be version 6. And also the ignition changed the owner from facade ignition to Spati Laravel ignition version 1.0 and it's also in the required dev. So this is the minimum things that we need to change in the composer JSON and then we need to run composer update and see if there are any errors. And then according to those errors we will change more packages but basically you need to update all the packages versions to the versions that support Laravel 9 and not all of the packages would be updated. So for example we have three packages from Spati and we will see which versions do we actually need. First, let's run composer update. So composer update, it will likely show us the error, but which error? Okay, so conflicts in the versions as expected. So illuminate support, yep, this one. Spati Laravel backup, the version that we had requires illuminate support 678 and cannot be installed. Let's go to the GitHub of Spati Laravel backup. So here we go and let's see if it supports Laravel 9 and which version is the latest. Every package will be different and you can find the latest version in its documentation. But I personally like to check releases. So on the right hand side we have releases and then somewhere here it should be mentioned support for Laravel 9. So there we go, version 8. So currently we have version 6.16. And now we have 8.0, which was actually released 27 days ago. So that's how early they prepared to Laravel 9. So we change that to 8.0. For the package Laravel Health, it's a bit more complicated. So in the releases, I haven't found specifically something according to Laravel 9. But I took a look at the history of Composer JSON and found this work in progress where it actually was added version 9 in the release 1.8.1. So I need to upgrade to 1.8 for example, so it will install 1.8. latest. And for CPU load health check, which is actually a part of Laravel health, we don't even need to change that because in the composer JSON of that package on GitHub, it doesn't even have Illuminate collections or anything related to Laravel. Now let's try to run composer update again. And now it is working, it is updating our project and we will have Laravel 9 or not. So I have some error which I don't know what that actually means but it's in the vendor Fideloper proxy. So there's another package which I haven't checked which may need higher version. So Fideloper proxy, let's check that one. But here I see the latest version 4.4.1 is exactly the one that I have. And now time to read the docs and maybe one of the upgrade guide points will lead to that error, which actually it did. I've googled the error. Basically the point is you get the error and you google them or you find in the upgrade guide. So this one is mentioned with trusted proxies that you need to change the headers properties definition in app HTTP middleware trust proxies. So we need to change the headers from the old version to this one, paste. And also we need to change within your trust proxies file, Fideloper proxy trust proxies to another syntax. So like this, we just override that. But when I run composer update again, the same error. 
and I thought about it. That package for developer proxy is actually replaced. In the official documentation, we remove trust proxies and replace it with Illuminate HTTP, which means that package is not needed anymore, probably. It's not mentioned in the documentation, but let's try it out. Let's remove that and let's run composer update so that package would be removed and then that error should be gone, I hope. Removing the proxy and we have success. Now let's try to just launch our homepage. So this was the Laravel 8 homepage. We refresh and does it still work? Yep, no errors. And let's click around a little if there are no errors. So view example, view this menu item, view that link. It all seems to be working. Now in this part of the video, I probably should tell you to launch automated tests. So PHP Artisan Test or PHP Unit. But in this project, we don't have automated tests, unfortunately, because it was kind of a demo project almost for ourselves. So I decided to not spend time on automated tests because if something doesn't work in this links, no one would actually suffer. So I moved on to other projects and didn't write automated tests here. I know it's pretty bad and automated tests would massively help in upgrading Laravel because then you would not have to click around and check everything and test everything manually. But again, in this case, it's a small project, so I pretty much tested everything by just doing five clicks. So what do you think about upgrading to Laravel 9? Of course, your projects may be much more complicated with more dependencies, with different errors, but I cannot provide the recommendations for all possible situations. If you have any specific errors, shoot in the comments below. Maybe someone will help from the audience or maybe myself. So the only catch that was not mentioned in the documentation was about proxy package and it started working when I removed that package. I will try to dig deeper what is the reason maybe I missed something in the documentation and will tweet about what I find. Generally, follow me on Twitter at PavelosCorp for all the latest Laravel news, including Laravel 9. That's it for this time, and see you guys in other videos.